if you want to see how I got my mum's nails from this to this, then keep on watching. Hello, my loves. Yes, mum is back. And guess who's back? Back again. Those cuticles. Oh, my God, honey. So she's worn down her nails. She's chopped off a couple of the tips. Um, so I removed those and then prepped and got rid of all that cuticle and that growth. Mum's cuticles rock solid. It's like odd, but it's the damage, isn't it? So we just have to be gentle with it and work at it really slowly. Um, if you want details on advanced nail prep, I've got a little course running on that. So I'm using the extends system, which is like the tips that stick down with gel, because I find if I'm if I'm dealing with a set of nails that are quite short and um sorry I've got a uh, my dog's next to me and I'm really getting quite sensitive to his fur. I feel in situations like this I can get a much better result with the like the extends the stick on tips. So I've dehydrated, then I've added the base gel and I just use my portable lamp to um to cure that and then I put a bit of gel in the tip. I must admit, I did. It was a bit cat counted doing this with uh, long nails. It was a learning curve because I haven't had them this long for ages. So I'm holding that down, making sure as much as possible it was sticking around and messing me about. So I'll press it back down, then I'll get my lamp, and while I'm still holding it, I will start to freeze cure this nail and then I'll do a full cure on it and I'll do the same on all the others I just find this much more effective for situations like this and my mum copes better with them so I've decided to do it. I couldn't do it last time there was just not enough nail bed on some of the nails but they've grown they're a lot healthier so we're gonna go for it so I'll let you watch this little bit And as if by magic, they're all done um, and shaped. And I'm going to add Lacente's base coat gel, which is a nice thick gel. So yeah, I hope you've all been well. This is only a quick video, but I wanted to show you mum's progress. We're getting there. Um, thank you for the emails and messages about the courses and everything like that. Lots of exciting stuff going on. I'm super duper excited. So, um, yeah, it's just all buzzing at the moment. Ah, buzzing! Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Stop for traffic lights. So once that's had a 30 second cure in my Lacente lamp, I'm going in with this colour from Lacente called Let Them Eat Trifle. I love this colour and I love trifle. So it's not a bad combo. I'll do two coats of this and I do freeze cure quickly because my mum, you've seen the other videos, my mum is blind and she can't gauge where her hands are so she will roll her fingers to the side and her gel will move or, and so yeah it's just easier to do a little freeze cure sometimes she was having a bit of a fidgety day this day some days i don't need to but if she's having a fidgety day i'd freeze i freeze cure it's just it's just easier um <laughs> bless her bless her little cotton socks jumping from cliffs so high trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down, but we 
get up and start from the ground. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know if I will ever figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. Say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. Even if the sky is falling down. And then once they've all had a full 30 second cure, I'm going to go in and apply a second layer. And then once that second layer has had a 30 second cure, I'm going to get my Lysente P1 pigment brush and this beautiful pigment in the shade Cinnamon and we are going to just burnish it into the tacky layer. Oh my god, it's so pretty! I've been waiting to use this pigment. I used it on myself ages ago and it's really beautiful. So once I've rubbed that into all of the nails, I just go straight in with top coat, make sure I seal it around the edges and cap the free edge as well. And that will hold all that in place. It's pretty special. I'm gonna just get rid of the uh, excess dust with Gerald. There we are. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And then I'll go in with the top coat. I'll float the top coat on because I don't want to drag off any pigment. And then I will quickly flash cure with my hand lamp, like my free hand lamp, and then they'll go in the full lamp as well for a cure. Because um, we want to get them as nice and even as possible. And then that's it. After I did all of that, I let the nails cool and then we applied, oh, what cuticle was it? Lola Cola from, I think it's Nanuki or something like that. I can't remember, uh, but we did that and that was it. And then after I'd finished filming, my mum made me round these nails off because she hates square nails. She can't cope with the feeling because she can't see the corners. So she thinks that the corners are bits that shouldn't be there. So she picked them off. So yeah, I had to round them off. It was sacrilege. Oh, and I've also added some thumbnail action for you because I do love the thumbnail. It's just a bigger canvas, isn't it? Slightly off shot on this one, but don't worry, it's it's in shot on the next bit.
And that's that. That's us all done. As I said, they cured in my lamp. I applied cuticle oil. And then we took a couple of photos and videos. I hope you've liked this little tutorial. Nice and quick, nice and simple. I'll see you in my next one. Tally bye!